will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. I am hope for all who are hopeless. I am eyes for all who long to see. In the shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus the Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Andrew du Lac, who was a priest and a number of, quite a number of his companions from Vietnam, Vietnamese martyrs. And over the last centuries, there are many, many martyrs, those who gave of their lives through many years of persecution there. So we come with all those who stand up for their faith and not afraid to proclaim that Christ is king of their lives. Let's call to mind the times that we have failed to acknowledge Christ as our king. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division among us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs, St. Andrew du Lac and his companions, faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood. Grant us through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision I, John, saw a white cloud, and sitting on it, one like a son of man with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came out of the sanctuary and shouted aloud to the one sitting on the cloud, put your sickle in and reap. Harvest time has come and the harvest of the earth is ripe. Then the one sitting on the cloud set his sickle to work on the earth, and the earth's harvest was reaped. Another angel, who also carried a sharp sickle, came out of the temple in heaven, and the angel in charge of the fire left the altar and shouted aloud to the one with the sharp sickle, Put your sickle in and cut all the bunches of the vine of the earth. All the scripts are ripe. So the angel set his sickle to work on the earth and harvested the whole vintage of the earth and put it into a huge winepress, the winepress of God's anger. The word of the Lord. The Lord comes to rule the earth. Proclaim to the nations God is king, the world he made firm in his place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. 
Let the land and all the birds rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the earth. He will judge the people with his truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stand erect, hold your heads high, because your libation is near at hand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When some were talking about the temple, remarking how it was adorned with fine stonework and votive offerings, Jesus said, all these things you're staring at now, the time will come when not a single stone will be left on another. Everything will be destroyed. And they put to him this question. Master, they said, when will this happen then? And what sign will there be that this is about to take place? Take care not to be deceived, he said, because many will come using my name and saying, I am he, and the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them. And when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened, for this is something that must happen, but the end is not so soon. Then he said to them, nation will fight against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and plagues and famines here and there. There will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. In this last week of our church year, as we come to the end of the liturgical year, the, our gospel speaks about endings, endings. And Jesus in the gospel there, in speaking about the temple, speaks that everything will be destroyed. Everything will be destroyed. The temple being destroyed. The temple was one of the seven great wonders of the world at that time. It had taken nearly 60 years to build, and even at the time of Jesus, it still wasn't completed. And here is Jesus saying, it's going to be destroyed. And yet, that is what happened in the year 70 AD. The Roman army under Titus destroyed the temple destroyed the city of Jerusalem to the ground. The book of Revelations from which we get the, the first reading in this week from speaks about that God is the one who lasts forever. You know? He is the one who is, who was, and who is to come. And the author would say the same of Jesus, God's son. When all else fails, God is still there. God endures, if you like. As we know of St. Paul in one of his writings, when he's writing to the people of Corinth, when he describes love, he says, love does not come to an end. And St. John in his letter would say that God is love. God is love. God doesn't come to an end. God's love is the same yesterday, it's the same today, it's the same tomorrow. God's love is always there. And that's what we can be assured of hearing today. God is still loving today. And it still will love tomorrow again. God's love is always there, no matter what happens. Even in the midst of sickness, even in the midst of pandemic, even in the midst of anxiety and worry and stress, even in the midst of isolation, even in the midst of restrictions and lockdown, God's love is always there.
Let us now bring all our needs to the Father in prayer this morning. Let us pray that we may take comfort in hearing that God's love is always with us today, that God will reveal himself to us in those moments of anxiety and worry and stress and isolation and sickness today. Lord, hear us. Let us pray that God's abiding, loving presence will be with all those who look after the sick, doctors and nurses and carers, all those who work in the front line, that he may bless them with compassion and wonderful gentleness. Lord, hear us. That God's abiding presence will be with all those who lead us in government, that they will make the right decisions, that they will speak with wisdom and speak the truth and act with justice, always seeking the common good, always seeking to keep us all safe. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for all those who have died, all those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. All those we remember during this month of November, all those included in November dead lists, especially those whose anniversaries occur at this time, let us entrust them to the merciful God that he may welcome them into the kingdom of heaven. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for all our young people that they may grow in wisdom and love, that they may be kept safe. Lord, hear us. We pray in silence for our own personal family needs today. God, our Father, these are the prayers of your people, the ones we have spoken, the many others that are in the silence of, the, our, of our hearts. You know them even before we ask, for we ask them through your Son, Jesus, who is the Christ and who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our sacrifice this morning may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Father, the offerings that we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life, we may be always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies, faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father, and did you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name, and we pray the hymn of your glory as without end we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy and to be glorified God who loved the human race and who always walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present among us when we are gathered by his love. And when, as once for his, the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and he breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer in the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, fathers, we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the offering of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and forever among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Noel our Bishop, with all the bishops, priests, deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of all our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Welcome them into the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Anne, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. And so we prayed with confidence of the Father, we use the words Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us from everything that is evil. Grant peace in our day that with the help of your mercy we may be free from sin, safe from every distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you are the Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter onto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. My Jesus, I believe that you're truly present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread, as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. <clears throat> may Almighty God bless you today, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. And have a good day, everyone. And stay safe, please. Blessed are they, the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they, full of sorrow, they shall be consoled. Rejoice and be glad, blessed are you, Holy are you, rejoice and be glad. Yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they, the lowly ones, they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst, they shall have their fill. Rejoice and be glad. Blessed are you, holy are you. Rejoice and be glad. Yours is the kingdom of God.